So I have some news. Very exciting announcement. Good morning. <laughs> Happy Vlogmas Day 4. So I have some news. Very exciting announcement. You may have heard, if you watched Vlogmas Day 1 and 2, Romeo kept trying to spoil my surprise. Did you tell him yet about our surprise? What? Do they know yet? No, they, oh, they don't. don't. Oh, no. Okay. Was... Because we're so excited. And he didn't realize I hadn't told you yet because it is a surprise that I'm going to tell you about now. I'm very excited. We have something special for you guys. It's exclusive. It's limited edition. It's custom made by us. We are launching all the things merch for Vlogmas. I am so excited. This has been something that we've been working on for a really long time. It's kind of been an idea. And then we were like, okay, how do we even do this? Where do we, you know, get the sweatshirts from? So let me tell you about them. And then I will show you how we did it. And I filmed the whole process. So Romeo really has sourced as many good quality, secondhand, thrifted, pre-loved sweatshirts in all different sizes. So from extra small to 2XL or higher. And they're all sweatshirts from the like late 80s, 90s, and 2000s, like that brand. So they are quote unquote vintage. Does 2000s qualify as vintage? I mean, it's Oh, vintage is considered 20 years. So yeah. Well, okay. So yeah. So vintage sweatshirts that are pre-loved, uh, they are all in different colors. They are all in really great condition, but some do have flaws. These are pre-loved. We're giving a second life to something that had a, a different life before and that were just being discarded pretty much at thrift stores and stuff. So he's sourced all of these. We have very limited edition. We have about 150, 160. It's been a huge project for us because we wanted to do it from start to finish all ourselves. So it's a project that Romeo and I took on and I'm gonna show you exactly how we did it, all the ups and downs, all the trying to figure out how to embroider. We bought an embroidery machine. It was a whole thing. But before I do, I just wanna tell you Sizing in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, how they sized shirts and stuff was very different throughout the years. So we are gonna put, if we can, if the, these, if the sweatshirts still have tags, we are gonna put what it fits like or the size that it's stated, but pay close attention to the chest measurement and then the full length. So from the neckline here down to the hem. And so like this one that I'm wearing is, so I think maybe it says large. Yeah. Yeah. So this is considered like, uh like a men's this. large, but actually fits like women's large. I feel like this is large on me for sure. This mm -hmm. is a a women's large for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm usually like a small, if not medium in tops, like I kind of run that. So you can kind of see how this large fits me, but that's not gonna be the same for every item. So this large could fit totally different than another large we have. So we're gonna put the measurements, Romeo measured everything from this point to this point, so right underneath the armhole, so the chest measurement, and then from the neckline down to the hem. So if you know those measurements, you can totally know what's gonna fit mm -hmm. you. Know that they're pre-loved, so there are going to be some blemishes, maybe some paint stains, maybe some pinholes here and there, some distressing around the collars or the sleeves I and like stuff. I, I love that. I wear sweatshirts all the time. I love to create in them. I love to just like wear them around the house. Like I do everything in sweatshirts. Sleep in them? I sleep in them. Go to the I stay sales in them. <laughs> everything. Most of my sweatshirts, if not all of my sweatshirts, are thrifted. This is just something that was really true to both Romeo and I. He obviously has his vintage clothing business, mostly vintage LA, and he has killed it in finding the best colors for us for this collection. So without further ado. Let us show you how they were made. We are hard at work. Kinsley is, I don't know, helping or hurting. It's not for you, but I'll let you play with it. Romeo and I are laying out all the sweatshirts and picking the thread that we want for each one. So we're gonna be starting the embroidery process. So we wanna, oh, Kinsley, where did this one go? Where did she come from? She's, <laughs> she's helping and hurting at the no, same I mean, time. She's lost, she's lost. 
So we've got our box that's getting all cream colored thread. Definitely gonna have to order some more. Oh, Kinsley! All right, you're getting down. Come on. And no, you're not getting the thread. No, no! We got more tonal colors because it didn't really work with any of the other colors. We've got like some rich kind of burnt orange, browns, silver, and then this is tonal too, and I'm working on these. And then this is the box that's getting this dark green, which is gonna be really pretty on all of these. Some are tonal like this. That's gonna be so pretty. Mom is not embroidering. Mom is making this like pad for Robbie's baby bed. <laughs> Okay, you can be embroidering, even though that's yeah, not the, this is the embroidery right. machine. <laughs> well, I didn't know what that was. I she, didn't even, she didn't even know what it was. It's the first orange one. Orange? What color am I gonna do with orange? Ooh, orange and burnt orange. Will it look good? Oh, yes. Dang, this is the first orange. Or brown, let me see. Let me play with this one. This would be orange, or we could do... No, I don't like brown. Looks like University of Texas. <laughs> what? You just insulted all of them. I did. I didn't offend all of Texas. I'm just saying, we're not trying to go with collegiate colors here. We're trying to go. Well, how sad for you. Well, I'm making yours, yours LSU colors. <laughs> I mean, orange on orange kind of looks like UT too. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it orange. Cream is nice. I like the tonal. You like tonal, yeah. like orange on orange. Okay, I think that works. we'll do orange on orange. So we're basically making piles of the same color. So this is the, this is what's getting the burnt orange you color. Can mix up like, are you doing like maybe blue with one specific thread or you're mixing it up? Mixing. snow is falling and the cold wind is blowing hard. There's a lot of sweatshirts, you guys. We got boxes on the floor. This row is getting burnt orange. This one's getting white. This one, oh, oh dark brown. This one's getting silver, red. This one's getting like a tonal blue tonal green and then this whole box is all getting the lighter brown which would be pretty and then this is all cream which i knew we would use a lot of and then this one is getting the darker kind of like emerald green color oh yeah and then tonal like fuchsia kind of pink tonal oh this is like a darker blue and then this random turquoise She's special. She's the only one like her. Mom and I are over here trying to figure out the embroidery machine, machine, and I think we're doing a very good job. But we're starting by making a pillow for Robbie. Look at that. That is, it's mesmerizing to watch. We're also watching football over here, but. <laughs> I know, I think sometimes it's messing up and I go, oh, no, that's enough. No, yeah, it's cool to watch it here too. Now that we've successfully figured out how to just use the embroidery machine, I'm trying to figure out how to get my design in the right file for the machine to actually read it to embroider it. All of the sweaters are going to say all the things. Obviously that's our, that's our thing. <laughs> I always say all the things when I don't know how to describe something or it's like an all-inclusive kind of like, yeah, it's like all the things. Um, so I wanted it to be my handwriting I was using my Procreate app and I was like drawing. Can you see that? I'll put this on the screen. But I was drawing out, you know, different all the things in my handwriting. Um, I always like to write things like my logo, like my Exo McKenna's, my handwriting. Um, so I was kind of trying to make them look a little like perfect, so to speak. So once I got it right, I brought it onto my computer in Photoshop and um, took out the background, saved it as a PNG, but I could have done that from Procreate too. Then I had to go through the embroideries manual to see like, okay, how is it supposed to read it? It has to be like stitch format, you know? So the embroidery machine only uses 
PES files, PHC files, and DST files. So I Googled. I was like, what are these files? How do I do them? And I Googled how to convert a PNG to a PES. And I needed this file star program. It's free up to 10 convert converters, conversions. Um, so I've tested it and it, it worked. I also downloaded, I Google everything. I also downloaded this um, app on my computer called Stitch Buddy. This is how the stitching will be, but now I'm running into a problem on getting it the size that I wanted it. So I went from the, the front of the A to the end of the S here without the tail to be about three and a half inches, I'm thinking. And I just wanna test it at that. So from the front of the A, over here to the end of the S is 145 millimeters. It's around 5.7 inches. Well, that's bigger than I wanted. So I'm trying to convert a new file right now. I made the PNG smaller, so now I'm converting that to see if that will work. Oh, it's done, okay. Let's see what this one ends up being. Maybe it worked. Oh, 137, no, it's still five inches. Five inches. Should we just stitch one and like try it out? I feel like we should stitch one, try it out. All right, let's try it. My only problem here is that I don't have like one of those old school little memory um, USB flash drives. I just have a Brahma Mama. So I'm hoping that this works. Let's see. It's got so many files that I don't know if it's gonna be able to load. This USB B media cannot be used. It's not gonna work. Now what do I do? Let me think. We're testing our first, our first attempt at all the things. I got a, a um, USB, what is it called? It feels too big. The embroidery is too big. This was just a scrap piece of paper but um, it ain't it. It would be really big. <laughs> it's too big. And it just started going over and over and over the same place. Like it got cut off. So I need to work on the artwork some more. We're learning. <laughs> I think I did it. I think like three downloads of softwares later. That looks cute. That looks so cute. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We did it. Look at all the things. I love it. Let the fun begin. What we've done is we've grouped them all by color. You guys saw that. So we've got all the stacks here. We've got boxes there. So we're gonna take them color by color. So the color that we have in here right now is called pewter. So it's all of these get the pewter color. And then I also ordered a larger roll of every color that we were using just from Amazon um, so that we have them. These are like $5 a piece or so um, so that we have enough thread to do all, all of them. You guys were doing our first real sweatshirt. It's amazing, I'm so excited. We also got a roll of like backing um, to make it more um, supportive. It's a tearaway backing, it comes on a roll like this and it's a non-itchy tearaway backing. The whole family is looking. Aww. She wants all the things sweatshirt. Kins Kinsley wants, we, we said that we are gonna get her a little sweat, uh, doggy sweater. That's cute. That is so cute. So see it stitched through the backing. So do you just like pull it? Literally. That's so cute. Going in there with all the sweatshirts. Kinsley. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day.
There's something special in this box, and I hope they look really good because I kind of wanted it to be a gift with purchase, in a sense. You know what I mean? So each box and each order will have a handwritten note from me that I'm gonna write, but I wanted it on something special so you could possibly use it in, in a special way. So you guys know my mom's an amazing painter. She painted one in particular that I absolutely, all of them are beautiful, but one in particular I absolutely love, which is called Deep in Bloom. With her permission, obviously, I had no cards printed with Deep in Bloom in matte on one side and then I'll write the note on the back. So once you get the, the note from your order, you'll also be able to frame a four by six print. I think it's four by six. Isn't that nice? It, they're meant to be note cards, so it's kind of on like cardstock paper, um, but they would look equally as good in a frame. I'm so excited. So these are gonna come with every order. If you do order, be surprised when you get it so you won't know everything. <laughs> so the whole packaging experience, we got green boxes for Christmas, and I wanted it to kind of be tonal, so I got some green tissue paper. So that'll go in here. We have some um, stickers on the way too. I hope they make it in time. They sent me a proof to like approve it, and I missed it, like I didn't even see it. So two weeks went by without them even making them, so we'll see about that. But then this inside, it's like a whole, it's like a whole pretty situation. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys here. We're gonna do a little photo shoot, just something super simple. I mean, we're going for effortless with these like cute things, cozy home vibes. With this one, I'm gonna stand by the tree over here, and then we'll do one like by the fireplace. Even tree, I still haven't decided on tinsel. It's still just like right there. <laughs> how cute the red is. I love these. Okay, this is gonna help. Hello, Let's go outside. Help. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm yeah. while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. <laughs> yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. You're like the best time man. Wow, we're think gonna I'm go yeah. inside. Wow. And take a oh, I love it. Cause all I want. Wait, that's so cute. Spend. Okay, now I'll take one by the fire. I like right? that color a lot. Has some. Yeah, like this one's like distress. See, I really wanted you guys to be able to create in them because that's what I do. I have sweatshirts that are thrifted and I love to put them on and get paint on them and just create because it's like, they look better with age and wear. Um, so you'll see a lot of like distressing. Like this one in particular has some little paint stains on it already. And then some like little baby- Pinholes. Pinholes. It's like little pinholes, but like all of my sweatshirts have that. These are pre-loved, we have to remember that. Okay, so we're gonna do this one by the fire, you think? Yeah? Maybe I should get rid of my tinsel. <laughs> Okay, we took three different colors, dark green, this one, and then a, a red. We have all different colors, obviously. Look at this. Like, this has been a huge project for both of us. Romeo does laundry so well. He has washed every single one of them. <laughs> they are clean. They are ready for you guys to just get them in the mail and wear. Also, something that I don't have footage for, for, of, or I'm not sure, we actually found the majority of these in Los Angeles. So Romeo packed them all up in big boxes. Yeah, this this was one of the boxes. How many boxes did we travel with on the plane? Um, 
It was like 200 pounds. 200 pounds of sweatshirts we brought back from LA because we didn't want to have to ship them. We didn't want them to go missing. And we didn't want to pay extra if we had two free luggages to get on the plane. We literally checked these in as luggage and put them on the plane, got off, loaded them in my mom's car because she has a big truck, and then we brought them here. So these have like traveled, pre-loved, traveled, just all the things. <laughs> That's it. Look, that's all we have left. They will be live when you're watching this. I hope you guys love them. They're just something for you to create in and just have a little piece of a DIY that we worked on. Uh, we don't have a ton, so they're very limited. We were looking for better quality uh, vintage sweatshirts, but there are going to be some blemishes. So when you're shopping, pay attention to the sizing, your chest measurement, and then from the shoulder to the hem. So if you know those things, you'll know what sizes they are. And we're gonna be shipping everything from here in the house. We have all the boxes, all the tissue paper, all the note cards. I'm writing handwritten note cards to every order. Um, so when you guys get them, tag me, share it, send me pictures, DM me pictures on Instagram at Exo McKenna. I would love to see you guys in them and then create in them and just do fun stuff in them. And I hope it gives you like good vibes and good creative energy and yeah. So we are going to work on this for the rest of the day so that you guys actually have them to order. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Bye guys. Christmas memories